of the shutdown, so just follow in pleas of the suffering. Some small businesses, many of them, in fact, are feeling a pinch. Paul Carolyn is a bartender at Maxwell's here in New York. Um, let me talk to you, Paul, about the residency. There's a pretty empty-looking bar that you're in. Uh, just in pure factual terms, how much business have you lost in the last three days to what you would normally have? Hey, how are you, Piers? Uh, I'm guessing about 50% down um, with uh, federal employees to, uh, you know, they usually come in for happy hour and lunches and all that. We usually have, you know, tables from 15 to 18 onwards, and uh, since since the federal sh shutdown, we've got nothing at all, and it's, you know, really affecting business. I've got a, a wife and a daughter to feed, you know what I mean? I still have to pay my tax dollars at the end of the month, and what's going on is just really ridiculous to me, and if I could say something to Mr. John Boehner, get your finger out, mate. This is a working man's face here. You need to get on top of what's going on and just cut out the, you know, schoolyard tactics. I mean, we've got a business to run. A lot of people have been affected by this, right. and uh, it's, it's not long. It's not long. I just became a citizen and, and two and months ago. And as a point out, Paul, you're, you're next to the federal building down there in lower uh, Manhattan, and that's why it's so relevant. Uh, Paul, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining me. You've, you've hit the nail on the head there. We bring in now uh, uh, Matt Walsh. He's